Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Another episode, Football Manager 21, our Bielsa-styled journeyman. We are currently at Volin Lusk, our first club, and this is the first match of the second season. So a great place to join up if you have not seen any of the first season. Uh, not a bad season, uh, so we ended up uh, third in the league. We were picked mid-table, so we were five places up. And here is the club we're going with this year. Uh, we're going with Heidenreich in goal, Stoika and Yarmolenko on the wings, on the back line, Radinov and Bidney on the back line, Mazarenko in the ball-winning midfielder. I've changed that position for him. Uh, Kuczynski and Carabella. Went ahead and went with Carabella over Fidrich. Just more upside uh, there. Camps will be moving up into the advanced playmaker role, which is another uh, positional change uh, instead of the advanced playmaker. Uh, he was a shadow striker uh, initially, but I wanted to change that up. And we're going with Vera and Robinson on as the paired up strikers. So let's get to the match today. Be interested to see how the team shakes out. I've also gone in, usually I let the uh, the assistant manager make all the training decisions, but there's some unique positions in this, uh, in the tactics. So I've just dialed everybody in to train for the next month uh, for their, you know, their actual positions that we're dealing with. That header goes wide of the mark, Shakhtar with the first highlight. But uh, so that's that's what I was hoping for, you know, to get to get some training going on and actually try to stay on top of that and make sure that they are able to uh, improve in the tactic, which I haven't really worried about. There's a nice ball outside and it's crossed in and who got it? Philip Camps. Oh my gosh, he puts the first goal of the season in. He's the number 10 that we're building the playmaker role around back there. And that was really nice. So you see the two strikers running up. Camps may, basically making a 4-3-3. And then he just took a step back behind Robinson to give himself space and an angle. Really good play by him. And I'm excited to see what he does this year. So let's uh, encourage the team. Yarmolenko is going to take a corner into the box. Benio gets the rebound or the clearance, and he is on a breakaway. Keep that guy marked in the center, boys. Blocked away. Good. By Camps. He's working both ends of the pitch. He does lose it, though. Oh, there's a little stab away by Stoika. Loses it, though. Oh, there's a ball. Oh, what a block by Radnov, but there was an offsides. Nikitin was offsides. That's very good. And we have a .35 to a .15 XG here in the early going. Let's demand a little bit more. They didn't like that. They did not like that. Okay. And we've got an injury, and it is Robinson. Oh, boy. All right. Now, I can move camp up there, but look who made the bench. You remember getting this guy last year, Lucas Meyer, 18-year-old Belgian now. He was 17 last year. Look at that finishing. I believe Lucas Meyer is going to get his shot come on the field. On the pitch. Use the right terminology, RC. This defensive winger, I've never played with that before. I like the, the way that it reads for the shape that we're playing. Big tackle by Stoika. Risky in the box, but it does go out for a corner, and he got all ball. Good clearance. Myers trying to chase it down. Oh, he does. Oh, he did a good job there. Got a foot on it again. Vera's back, balls up to Meyer. He cuts it outside, beats a man into the box. 
Oh, he lays it back and Carabella. Oh, he flubs the finish. Hopefully we're not going to be ravaged by injuries this season. Another good defensive block. Stoika gets there, clears it out over the side, and another offsides. Gursky this time. Stoika, Vera. Come on, boys. What can we do? There's Camps. Look how far back he's dropping in. A layoff, and Carabella goes high. I'd like to see my strikers turning on those balls rather than laying them off to midfielders, but... Mm, and we're burning down the house. I saw three flares go off. That's a new record. 88% passing, 52% possession, eight shots, five on target. Could be better. Could be worse. Uh, let's pump the fist. You played well. Room for improvement. And let's see what we get. That wasn't a good start. All right, let's uh, let's encourage. There's another flare going off. All right, Camps came back into the defensive half to link up. Oh, look at that ball. Carabella and Stepanyuk got a foot on it, it looked like. Oh, Meyer. I don't think Meyer was paying attention, expecting a ball to come back to him. And there is an equalizer, Blarond Miraqui. The assist by Gursky. Ah. All right, let's uh, demand more again. The flares are astounding. I don't recall seeing flares when I was doing leads in the beta save. Heidenreich did not hold on to that. I am a little concerned about him, but he does tip that over. Hey, what? I'm going to go ahead and do a sub here. Let's bring on Tarashenko. And... You have a yellow card back here. Hmm. I really don't like pulling off my center backs, but Kamzyuk's a guy that I need to play a lot. Couldn't see anybody else I wanted to bring on right then. Good clearance. And I think Gursky thought he was off sides. Not sure they called it. Stoika finds Camps. Camps on the outlet pass to Carabella. Oh, no, and that is a bad, bad finish by Tarashenko. Not liking that at all. Oh, and he blasts it up. I think the flare got in his eyes. He was blinded there for a second. Let's encourage him. We are starting to get outplayed, it looks like. Come on, defense. Carabella closes in. Got on the ball. Plays it up. Meyer beats his man. Good first touch. Oh, and it was just knocked away by Stepanyuk. All right. You know what? Benny is struggling a little bit. He's too short. Too short. I'm going to bring Kamziuk on for Mazarenko. And I think I do want to pull him off. Just not sure who to put back there. I think he can do the job. Let's bring Tarasenko on for him. So that's 
four subs. This will be our third stoppage, though, won't it? I believe that's our last sub because of the three stoppage rule. I hope I'm wrong about that because I am going to want to try to make a sub later. But without going back and re-looking at those rules, I think. All right, let's. Uh, I think I have done it. Nice ball movement. Oh, let Meyer run on to it. Oh, my goodness. Look at the clearance by the keeper. That was stellar. And Nikonen runs on to it. Oh, that was looking top shelf. Heidenreich got a little lucky there. Yep, Carabella just went dead, but I don't have anybody to replace him anyway. Oh, that one's just off the mark. All right, we need uh, we need to demand more. And let's go ahead and see. Do I have anybody that can play left wing? Mid. I got a lot of mid centers. You know what? Why well, can't he? Well, he can't cross, but he can pass. He can play central mid, and he can play right back. So why would he not be able to play out of position? And it didn't matter, because I was right. I had the three stoppages due to the injury. Not real happy about that. I let myself down. Hello, come on, don't do that, boys. All right, Vera in some space, looking for Meyer. Oh, Meyer did a good job to try to get up there. Gursky beats Stoika over the in the air, and then Merkwe is left with a wide open shot. He probably should have taken a touch. To bring that in closer. I honestly wish there was a way I could turn the flares off. There's Vera, and Vera slots it home. His first goal of the season. Let's jump into those tactics now, and we are going to make some of our changes. We're going to regroup. We're going to slow down. We're going to play for set pieces. And I think we're going to condense our shape a little bit. Just some of our time wasting without actually going time wasting. Nice ball, the youngster Myers. Good eye to get it in there to Vera. And his strike partner puts it home. His first of the season. Onsides. Very nice. Very nice. Kamzik and Vera takes it out of play. Let's tell him to focus. I didn't like that, but I don't care. I want him to focus because of things like this. Oh my God. I just told you guys to focus. Benigno, his first goal of the season, and we were wide open. Nobody was marketing him. Look at Kamzik out here in the middle of nowhere. Yarmolenko was just too far off of him. Six minutes of stoppage time. I'm going to take that off. And we're just going to set everything else back up to what it was. Oh, boy. Heidenreich gets there in front of Kokov. Kokov? I don't know. Kokov? I just said, don't waste time. And that should be a yell that takes place immediately. That was a poor kick. 
All right, good defense. Stoika knocks it out. They get another corner. I don't have anybody on the posts, but they are marking back there, so I need to. Oh, good tackle by Carabella. Not a whole lot. Nothing happened there. I'm not sure why the play ended. Oh, Meyer gets knocked off the ball. Vera, that could. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Tarasenko, he goes over the top. Where's Meyer? Too far back. All right, good header. Meyer controls it. It's in. Vera, oh, I think it got knocked away. I don't think Vera got a foot on the ball when he went to go s strike it. Oh, that should have been a goal. That should have been a goal. Oh, my. That is too bad. That was so close. I guess we have to credit the defense on that play, but boy, boy, I think he should have scored there. Meyer plays a 7 after coming on. Vera with a goal and a 7-1. I'm happy with that. I'd like a little more possession, possibly. All right, well, let's find out how bad... Uh, I'm going to go hands in pockets. We'll go unlucky. I want to see how long that injury is going to be. We're eighth in the table. All right, I'll do that off camera. And Robinson, three to four weeks. That's not what we want to see in the first match of the season because that changes up our tactic completely. Now do I put camps up front? Do I give Myers a run in the first team and see how he responds? I don't know. All right, well, episode's not over just yet. We're going to come back. We're going to show you the goal highlights from the next match because I did tell you I would start doing the highlights for the second match per episode just to keep you guys seeing some action. So we'll be right back for that. All right, we're back for the highlight for this one against Vorskla Poltova. See, we, we get the ball in our end, clear it up to Vera. He gets a good first touch, cuts inside his man, beats him by a step, and then puts it past Marich to the far post. And that puts us up 1-0 in the 20th minute. 23 shots, 9 on target. 55% possession. They had one shot the whole game, and it was a pretty easy win. Probably should have had a few more goals, and that actually put us top of the league, although nobody else has played yet. So more to come there. Uh, also, we had a couple of other transfers going out, both loans, uh, Romanov and Korol uh, took a, took that in. And Smirnov, the guy we brought in for $3 million, uh, made his debut in that match and didn't play badly. Didn't play great, but he played a 6.6, .6, so hopefully he can uh, build on that. But we can see his ratings are going up. But here's what I want to try to do with this guy, and this is based on something we talked about a few episodes back. According to a video that I saw by Zeeland, now, granted, it's a video that somebody did, but when you have players in this 18, 19, 20, 21 range, they're still at their peak development years. And supposedly, supposedly, if you play them every day, you don't improve your abilities by playing in matches. It comes in training sessions. So if they play in a match, they're not training as hard as they could, and therefore they won't develop as much. I'm not sure how true that is, because that kind of seems counterintuitive to me. I mean, if you're playing in a match, you're playing at peak ability and form and everything else, uh, peak effort that that should generate. But we're going to kind of test that as we go here, so he's trained, 
played one match. We're seeing really good all-around numbers. And where is the report that I am looking for? This is it here. Um, but he hasn't played enough to get the graph. So what you want to see is upward tra tra uh, trajectory. If they start to plateau or go down, you could be overplaying somebody. Again, based on Zeeland's uh, information. So, uh, you know, he seems pretty knowledgeable and well-respected in the community. So we could possibly go with that. But I like what I'm seeing so far. Guys, we're going to end it there. We will see you guys in a couple of days for the next episode. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't gotten around to it. And uh, we will see you. Take care. Bye.